Hi guys, how is everybody? A long time no speak, not been um on for forever, <laughs> not done a journal in forever. Uh, I've been working on this one for a good few weeks now. I was held back a couple of weeks ago. My kids got COVID and um, it held me back. I think it was a week and a bit. So finally finished. So as you can tell and see, this is a horror film themed journal. Absolutely made up with how it's turned out. I was even more made up and um, to be asked to um, make one. So it's based on some of the old um 80s mostly 80s horrors there is a couple thrown in from the 90s and so forth i'm not going to keep blabbering on too much so this is an axe what i made <laughs> love it i was going to put it inside the journal on like a um like a brad finger and it could go up and down but i did like it on the front as well on the front of the journal so i was unsure what to do with this and um i drew it and then obviously painted it with silver paint and then used glass um paint to give it that little shimmer and then i've used a bit of um cinnamon cinnamon powder to give like a bit of a rusty effect and then just made the handle look a little bit old and then added a bit of black tape on just to make it look more older so let's put that to one side and then these like what i've got in a sweet um packet um and i was like hmm how am i going to design this i had so many ideas um Big and small and this lady wanted like you know like a cozy night watching horror films popcorn um cinema these were the ideas that were thrown at me and i was just like i have like visions of popcorn and things so i got this sweet bag and then this is not real popcorn popcorn it does look like popcorn though, i must say but it did take me probably half a day to make it and it might not look like much but it that's how long it took me to make um i got like toilet paper and tried to curve it into like popcorny popcorny <laughs> popcorn shapes and then i had to wait for it to dry um so it was like so it went hard and then um, I had to mix a few colours of acrylics together to try and get like um, a popcorn-y colour look. And then it went crazy with blood. Um, I did have, I did use quite a lot of this glass paint. And I had another one, but it was in like um, a long stick and you, like a pen and you, you shaped it. So a lot of that, um, I've thrown it out now, but a lot of that was this. Um, and I was just like dabbing it, making loads of it for it to all drip down. So that's why I used it because I just liked how it like shimmered. Um, then I went on Pinterest and printed off like loads of um, like horror posters and stuck them on. But there is a few... Well, there's quite a bit of stuff in this journal and I think some of these, I think one of the, that one, um, I went on the hunt for some books with horror movie things in um, and I managed to find like a Stephen King um, book and another book with different kind of horror themed things and just talking about, you know, the horror films and stuff. And then this is a real um uh, i 
can't think of the name of it, but it is real. It was gifted to me by one of my friends. And I think her name is Quick Quick Draw Sir or something like that. Um, she has amazing talent and um, still need to make her a journal. Um, anyway, I'll stop blabbering on about the cover because we're what? Probably five minutes in and still waffling on. Um, and then this, obviously, I printed off, cut out, went all with a glossy accent, and then just took a few tickets on. <clears throat> and then I made this to make it like a film reel. And what I did was on these sides here, if you can see, I kind of cut that bit off and wrapped it around to make it like a film reel is that what it's called and then we've got like a hammer saw axe um there's a few like razor blades in there somewhere but we'll get straight in and then i've just used like really old pieces of cloth that i've had and like blooded them all up because of course this is a horror themed journal so I'll just put the camera down a little bit, tilt it, go straight in, um, do I have it the other way or not, I can't remember, oh I don't know, um, sorry I'm just running away to myself, I think I have the camera the other way but my thing's broke on my camera to hold it, um, I got a parcel last week from my lovely friend Francis, and she sent me some lovely halloween -y papers so this is from her so thank you francis came in at the perfect time um this is an image out of one of the horror books that i collected from the book cycle and i cut the images out and backed it onto black curd so it was like quite solid and then i just stuck some um leftover scraps of paper so you can journal on it so we've got freddy himself kind of like that and then this is a pocket what i made i had um, a halloween funko pop um advent calendar and um I cut the doors off them because they had like you know like a spooky theme going on and of course we have the um pennywise balloon there um so it's quite thick and i used it for this journal and then we've got the it himself <clears throat> and then like a pocket tuck pocket no, I forgot the name who I got these off. I have used these in the Ed and Lorraine journal that I did last year. Um, and she is the only person who I can find on Etsy that does like horror things like this. I will had had add her link below in the comments. Um I forgot off the top of my head, not me. Um normally I write who I've printed from but she's the only person that I've used um kit wise because you know there's hardly any kits you can buy with like proper horror because of copyright of course so yeah <laughs> and then this pocket here um behind this clear thing um this was cut out of the horror book which was the exorcism, no, exorcist. And then this, what's gone over it, was um, my stamp was stuck to it. So the stamp was like these little words and it fell off. And by accident, I got some like red um, paint on it. And I thought, oh, that will look good as like a pocket. So I've stitched it on and made it into a pocket. And then I can't remember where I've got this from, but if you undo it it's like a three-way um journaling card but with three of them so if you undo that it's like a secret 
practical pocket to write in and close it and no one will know. And then these are just cute little journaling booklets. Again, leftover scraps. And I just made some really cute little booklets. I love getting on scraps and just making random things out of them. I have been lying. Um, I have used kits, but they're not horror. Um, I have a lot of witchy spooky haunted housey themed kits um so i will put a link below i've just realized looking at this but that is it <laughs> <coughs> this is one of my favorite stamps and i've embossed it with some black embossing powder There's space there to journal, space there to journal, and then on the back of it, I've got to use some um, really old posters off Pinterest of really old horror films. I've got the spider. Now I find it really hard when you can you you can't find um, kits for the journal you were working on. Like this horror journal, you can't just download a full kit of all the, you know, Pennywise, Freddy Krueger, Halloween, Friday the 13th. You just cannot find a kit with special things like them, like, you know, for printing out for paper to journal on because obviously copyright and all that. So when I do journals like this and there's hardly any um, resources to go off, a lot of the stuff that I do, I make by hand or print things off of Pinterest and try and create something that, you know, I would get a hope, you know, something that you would get out of a kit, should I say. I can't get my words out what I'm trying to say. Whereas, like, if you do, like, a different theme, like, I don't know, botanical theme journal, there's tons and tons of botanical kits and envelope everything you could think of there's tons of them but like random things like this it's really hard so it takes me twice as long to make these kind of journals so i'll stop rambling on um this is supposed to be like blood and i think that was from a vampire kit that i already have um and then this is just like more drilling paper and then again another kit that i printed off because it had blood on it for the horror themed um this is like a pocket i think it's like a triple pocket and then you can see the image it's a saw and then we've just got um horror trivia which was gifted to me um i thought that was quite relevant to add to this journal so we've got a pocket just there, another pocket behind it, and then more pockets behind that. But I've not added it, I've not fully, you know, filled it up, and then just added some spooky horror things behind. So you could literally fit something else in that other pocket there. And then this is just that off court um, vintage fabric that I've had. And then I've got them throughout and I've just blooded them up with like Tim Holtz red ink and then used some glass ink just to give it a bit of a shimmer. And then we have an axe. Here's Johnny. <laughs> this was out of one of the books that I found in the book cycle my um stephen king books what i found which was very lucky enough to find and then doing a bit of collage in here with it. these are twins out of the shining and then just like different types of napkins and blooded up paper and just bits and bats and then this is off the film at the front of the journal again i've added another little booklet in lots of tiny scraps what's been left over 
and then I made a journaling card with do you know what I don't even know a name but obviously the scene when Johnny is smashing the bathroom door in and then we have another axe there at the top little charm and then I've bloodied it and then at the back journal one and then just a random journaling card from the um the kit that I was telling you about which I will put the link below and then I just found some stickers and just put here Johnny because he's coming and then here we have a little secret pocket I haven't added anything because it's quite chunky the journal so the lady who's receiving this can put whatever she wants in there's quite a few secret pockets and I might miss them because of some that go to the top as well and then I've used an old like index indexy card um covered it in lots of red um like paint to give it like a splattered blood effect and then we've got Friday the 13th and I covered that in glossy accents and then the same on the back I've used like red Timolts ink to give it that you know bloody look honest to god all oh, last week I was doing a school run and my hands were just covered <laughs> in red ink I couldn't get it off for ages then we've got Chucky he is a lovely doll you can buy and then he turns into this equal equal evil little doll and there's his bride and then i made it like a cute tuck pocket i kind of like that and then we've got um like a coupon and then i've just used lots of off cuts of paper splattered some up some are what are from previous journals what i've never used which went with this journal so you can like journal on them and stuff like that and then just a bit of fray <laughs> and another one of these blooded um things what i made and then we've got a hammer and then I went to turn on some of the pages in here and just covered them in lots of red ink, as you can see, and then used my fingers to make fingerprints. And then I used this, um, the glass red paint and I put run across the page, just, you know, just to give it a bit of an effect. And then we've left some more journaling stuff here. Again, this was um, printed off on print Pinterest. And I've made it quite a big um, version. Back to onto black card, and this would be cool if you wrote in gold, silver, or white gel pen at the back. That would be really cool. And then I added on this page because there was a house, a haunted house, and it kind of, you know, went with it. Just left some random pages blank for plenty of journaling, and then up here. We have a little hidden pocket to put things in. And then this page is obviously um, Silence of the Lambs. And I was just playing around. I just had this vellum um, piece of paper. And I have like the moth stamp with a skull in the centre, but you can't really see it. And I'm just like trying different colours of my embossing powders i don't know what i was doing i was messing around obviously trying to you know make the theme of the sounds of the lambs and then this i was trying to make it look like skin um because obviously in one of the scenes there's a guy i forgot his name and he kidnaps people and he likes to dress up in their skin uh, and stitch things together so obviously I've crinkled it all, inked it all, um, and then stitched the pages together just to create that effect. And then I've left this dangling. Just, you know, so you know it's out the lambs and all that. I just put like a heart thing in, like a, a glass thing. And then again, this other page is another 
secret pockets up there. And then we have another one of those um, journaling cards what opens up. And there's three of them. It's like a secret compartment for you to write in. I liked them because from a distance they look like skulls, but up close they're actual pictures. And you know what? I don't even know where I got them from. I don't think it was a kit. Got some vintage music paper. And then we've got The Alien. One of my favourite films from the 90s. Which was out of my horror book. So I've um, stitched it on to some tea dyed um, paper to journal on. Plenty of space to journal on. And this is the other page from the run where I went to town. And then I've just um, used some sorry silk and ruffled it up as I stitched it. More journaling space another sweet packet and i've used this hair stamp but used embossing powder to create this glossy red effect and then at the top we have a large journaling card which i've splattered more red ink on more journaling space and then we have a secret pocket on this side and I've made a little journaling booklet. Again, lots of cutouts from previous journals, gothic um, churches and things like that. Just loads and loads of leftover scraps. As you can tell, I love making miniature journals with lots of scraps. And then we've got the Friday the 13th on the front of that. More journaling, and then this page is ripped. Yes, it's supposed to be ripped. <coughs> Just to give it that like, effect. And then we've got quite a few journaling cards. So we've got this little miniature envelope. There's nothing in it. Just some really random things from this... Um, Kit what I bought, Office Lady for my Ed and Lorraine journal. These are so cool, and there's lines on them to journal on, and then you can journal on the back sides of them. Like I say, this is the only lady who I know has done like horror, horror themed things, which we have to be careful because of obviously copyright and all that malarkey. Okay? And then this is, I think, the ring. So that was quite relevant to the other side. And then again, we have some more journaling cards. And this was out of my horror movie book, which I cut out. There you go. Little pocket up there. Stenciling, lots of journaling. Another haunted house, and then that's the first signature. This is the second, and then we have a large pocket here, and this is another little envelope. Just some pictures that I printed off onto card with all the different types of horror films, and then another couple of those journaling cards. And then this is, um, what you call them, uh, like transfers. I've got a few of these and you just rub on them onto paper or card or whatever and then it comes out like that. So that was quite cool to do. And then of course we've got it. Um, I'll put some glossy accent on his nose to make it shiny. And then on this side, like a pocket, just added a few random cards in what I had left over. And then I made this. This was out of my horror book, what I got. And then I found this, and I thought it was quite cool for the clown colours. 
and you turn it round and it's covered in blood and then I stuck it on the back so you could journal. And then on the other side I've got like this this bit here which I just stitched there. And again this is another transfer and then I used the glass paint to create like a shimmery balloon and on the back I've made some space to journal and then an upside down cross more journaling and just a bit of collage and with different scraps with blood on and then I think this is like the last pocket that I did and then I just, I just added like lots of random things that I didn't use in the journal um so these could be added throughout you just like basically left all the things um elm street so basically this is like the scrap a little scrap um pocket of goodies what i didn't use also this lady can use them to come out and stick them in the journal This was from New York Times. This is, I think, this is something to do with the Kurt Russell. The thing there's a story about him. I went as far as researching newspapers to see if, like, you know, there was any, like, you know, stories on, on upcoming films in whatever era. But I couldn't really find anything on it apart from that one. <coughs> Again another little thing with different scraps on to journal on and i've got the pennywise up the little pocket and then just added some gothic bats and then again another horror try try i can't even pronounce it yeah that one so i'm just stuck them in there and that's on vintage music paper, plenty of journaling there. And on the other side, and then I've done some more embossing, and that's like a skull of Grim Reaper. Don't know. <laughs> it's a stamp that I bought, and I don't know what it looks supposed to look like. Got a bit of Halloween thing going on there. And this was out of one of the Stephen King books, The Creep Shawl. And then that story on that. More journaling spots. And then on the other side, and some collaging. And these were like actual from out of artist books with skulls. So I thought that was quite fitting. And I've just got another journaling card and another envelope. another sweet bag and again some embossing which is like a red gloss with a skull and then inside there I've just put an A4 tea dyed piece of paper to journal on and then this is an old um, CD um, protective case and I've like inked it all up in red, put loads of like bloody looking inks and then the evil dead and then I was like covered it in um, glossy accent and then we've got a razor blade, just do some random cut offs and then a creepy picture which I've backed on to black card again to write on And it just goes up there like so and then this is the centre of the second signature and then under that I've got this old fabric which again blooded up, inked up, made it look old and we've got um, a metal saw there and then a large journaling card Friday the 13th <coughs> and then this page um, these are actual napkins so I've kind of, you know, 
um, decoupage them onto the page and then use like different inks to age it up. And then we have another pocket and then we've got Chucky, um, journaling card, back down to card, creepy image there. Another pocket and again they've just got more of those cool creepy horror things in. Again, I've used some old posters, the House of Wax cycle, some of the sweet packets up here with some more bloody stuff on which you can journal on, more drilling space, and then we have another secret pocket here, and we've got the Halloween, and again, just lots of cut offs. And this, <laughs> this is when I was making this and I was just using the paper to paint on, as you can tell. And I just thought, what the hell? You know, it's scraps. It's part of the journal. So, yeah, that goes in there. Secret hideaway. And then this is a paper clip that I made. Um, we've got the nun on and i don't know why but i just sat here today and i was just putting bits of paper on and then i found this black envelope with a card <laughs> so i stuck that on and then i had this skull charm dangle thing and then i found some more of my black fabrics and stuff just threw it all together looks a bit of a mess but that's what you know using your scraps up and stuff and then I used a coupon card and got my glue gun and stuck a paper clip to it. So that makes a pretty, pretty cool paper clip. Just went wild with that one. And then on the other side, just doing some inking stenciling. And then this is just a large envelope. And then on the other side, got the Incendious, another journaling card there, more journaling paper, and then we've got this thing with the Lost Boys. No idea, get to it. Children of the Calm, which is a um, my book, my Stephen King book. Just some tickets there to my vampire collection, what I had lying around in my stash. Lots of journaling space, and then I made these. There's another one in this journal. Um, I used some vellum, and then again used the glass, the red glass um, paint. Got some sorry silicone on it. Um, a cool journaling card. I love this, and the lady actually sent me this image. Um, she originally wanted something like this on a front cover and I just couldn't get my head around how I do it um but I did cover this in glossy accents this would be perfect you know to stick in the journal somewhere make it into a tuck pocket or something um and I decided a couple of tickets there floating tuck pocket and then I used a vintage index card and then this is my cool moss stamp with the skull in the centre. Just had a bit of collaging around. Some sorry silk, a Ouija board, and then some space on the back to journal. And that's the end of the second signature. This is the third vinyl. Some more collaging, got a ticket. Just a little pocket at the side. We've got Freddy, Pennywise. <clears throat> I 
And then again, just some more inking and then just some random offcuts. A lot of mid into collage. Plenty of journaling space. And then we've got Michael Myers. God, we went blank then. And then I added this picture because it just reminded me of the houses in the couple of films when um, the houses look a tiny bit like that, but not as scary looking, more nice looking. And then just some fabric scruffed up. Bloody pages. And then pocket here with just some random bits that I didn't use. And then the scroll page on the other side um, is out of like a book thing that I got off Amazon, what I bought from for Halloween, which I really haven't used many of. Again, just some real um, cinema posters, what I've used. Some vintage ledger and then just got this under. more journaling cards and we've got the image from Scream and then I again I just used the um, the glass just to make some blood off his sword, off his sword, off his knife and again just some more of them cool scurry images and then this is the other floating pocket. Never sleep again. It's got, is it Cinder? I can't remember from screen. There's some random images in there. No, it's not Cinder, I don't think. Uh, it's on um, a rusty paper clip, so. Another look at the envelope that I made. I didn't even check to see if it stuck together because of the um, paint and blood and stuff. Big blood, should I say. Again, this is one of the books, Carrie. <clears throat> and this is probably one of my favourite pages, even though I like all of them, but this is one of my favourites. Um, Chainsaw Massacre. I was trying to make a theme page for that, and obviously, Chainsaw Guy was a mask and it's all made to leather, leather face, um, like hillbillies. As you know, if you've watched the film, you know, so I kind of created this, um, this thing where there's some tweed holding another page together, then I use some napkin. And then the picture of Leatherface there, and then done some stitching and just open it up. Um, perfect for journaling on. And then on the other side, I found this picture on Pinterest um, with um, the bloody grandpa, granddad, whatever, and his hillbilly family. And then I just tried to make like a bit of a hillbilly all day. I don't know, all the effect with some blood. So yeah. Um, and then again on the other side, I just did lots of, um, used lots of scraps. Um, and then this was a piece of, is it Jude? No, not Jude. I forgot the name of it. And it can remind me a tiny bit like her, even though it's not her. And I just thought, you know what, I'm going to tie it up and make it look as if it's supposed to be her so yeah that was my thought in my madness and then this is another transfer stencil and again that's another one that's an eye with a hand climbing out of it and journaling on the back and then at the top again I've just done some more stitching and then I did again this old fabric and blooded it up and then this is a real what I made which is like a bobbin 
I couldn't find a silver one, so I painted it silver and then obviously added the film thing. And I just added that for effect. <clears throat> just some more random bits of scraps I've used. Bit of a Luigi thing going on there. And then we have another secret pocket um horror movie challenge and there's like different types of horror films I, I was trying to look for better ones off pinterest but they were really rubbish when they came out after printing them they just the quality of the pit um, the images looked really bad so this was the only one that turned out as good as it could be and then just some leftover um paper which which, which fits perfect in here. Secret pocket there. And then we have this image. And then that just keeps that close. And then just like a, a piece of card there to write in. Which goes in there like so. More journaling. And then we've got um, saw. And then I've added some pliers because there's just some six scenes in that um and i can't remember if they used but it wouldn't surprise me i can't remember it's been that long since i've watched all the films um then we've got another long envelope and we've got a rip play out of alien and i've stitched that on to coffee stain paper and then again just some more cool journaling cards <clears throat> and then another one of those index cards and I've used Friday the 13th and just stuck some random bits on I had a bit of blood and ink up vintage ledger I had some black um, trim more stenciling and then on this side we've got um pinhead so i've used like a razor blade some uh, pins and then i think one of them's um been rusted up on purpose uh cogs and then this is like a large pocket and i again cut him out of my um, boot what i got out of the boot cycle backed him onto card just to give it a bit of strength and um, made into a pocket to put things behind him more journaling and then did like a horror kind of um, theme I've used these images in quite a lot of my like horror haunted witches journals so I just thought I'd add them for interest more journaling and then we've got this large Freddy Krueger pocket there's three um so I've got one there and there's two journaling cards in that pocket and then we have another card the back to one two black card in the second pocket and then the one at the back in the third one we've got a picture of like a ghost or like a girl so that's like a three pocket um thing this was out of the um the boot that i had which is a pretty cool image and then i've added cogs because he was um he worked in a factory and then obviously he did bad things to children in the, in the film and then it says on this little stamp thing here the girl was afraid of strangers um, and I thought that was quite relevant to the film and then that is the end of the horror journal <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll put it blabber on too much. 
um really enjoyed making this had so much fun i just found it very hard to find resources um but i love it and i think it would look really cool on the ladies um shelf in the house or whatever she does with it so i'm gonna go because it's like 45 minutes long so thank you for watching and goodbye